hey guys welcome back so in this video we will learn about maven you have heard this term many time while working on the project regarding maven so what is maven so maven is very important topic right now so we have to make sure that we know each and everything about maven because in automation you have to use the maven projects to interact with the maven server and to do various cool stuff from maven okay so what is maven maven is a you can say a build automation tool okay this is a tool which help us to build our project in an automated way so you know when we are working on a project there are certain jar files which we have to keep in our build path correct and this is one of the manual work which we need to do each and every time but this is very tedious work when i am working with more than one person let's say there are five people in my team and i want that each and every one should download a jar file then you know for downloading the jar file putting into a build path sometimes some people download the incorrect version some people download some other version of jar file it is a tedious project so for handling all these kinds of issues apache has created a tool called maven and from now onwards we will use the maven in our project also so in the next video i will tell you how to download the uh, maven in eclipse and how to use it but in this video we will see how the maven work all right i have created a flowchart regarding this i will make you understand how it work assume that this is my computer okay and this is my colleague computer okay so what we will do that instead of downloading all these jar file assume that there is a selenium dot jar file test ng dot jar file and also there are some own your own java files uh, you know you have on your project so instead of downloading this jar file onto my computer what i will do i will make the use of this pom so pom dot xml is the file which is provided by maven to me okay so right now just concentrate on this one on pom okay on this one just concentrate on this one so this is my pom all right and uh, we have to use this pom to interact with my maven repository okay now the question is what is this pom and what is this maven repository so pom is nothing but an xml file okay it is nothing but an xml file when you create a project as a maven it create this xml file into your project okay and what we have to do instead of downloading this jar file which i have mentioned here in this pom.xml i will give a reference of those jar file okay and as soon as you run your project it will try to interact with this maven central repository so you can assume that it is a, a kind of a place which is somewhere on some server some global server okay and this is one central location this is somewhere at my central location and whenever i try to download the jar file i will run this pom because pom has a reference of all these jar file it will automatically download this jar file onto my computer so this is one of the advantage of maven that we don't have to download the jar file we just have to give it under the pom let me show you how this pom.xml look okay so it's maven lifecycle okay so i have opened the main site of maven which is maven.apache.org and if you see here let's go here and see if we have okay let's go maven in five minutes all right now you will see here that this is the pom.xml file this is the pom which was, i was talking about pom.xml so this is the pom.xml file so whenever you want to download any jar under dependencies you have to give a tag dependency okay and you have to give which jar file you want to download let's is in this example it is trying to download the jar file j unit with the version 4.2 so you just have to give a reference of this jar file and as soon as you run this pom.xml it will download this jar file onto your computer automatically and it will download it into a folder called m2 so this is the folder 
you will get when it will try to download the jar file I can show you this jar file onto this m2 folder on my computer that when I have used maven how it has downloaded it so it should be under users okay and you have to give to your computer profile see there's a dot m2 folder so whenever you give maven and you run this pom.xml it will download all these jar files see I have and I have you know uh, jfree jar file and also there would be dom4j jar file so these are all the jar files which get downloaded automatically using maven okay so this is one advantage of maven and i think this is the most important thing of maven but maven is not just downloading a jar file it is more than that okay so what it will do when you run this pom.xml or when you try to run the maven project it will pass through all the life cycle so these are the life cycle you will see in my mouse these are the life cycle of the maven so first it will try to generate sources then it will compile then test then package install and deploy so these are all the life cycle which maven go through and these are the plugin which is there in our project which will help maven to do all these uh, work okay so in the pom.xml we don't really only give the dependency we also give a reference of the plugin which you need to download so once we run this it will try to go through all these life cycle it will try to download this plugin and then our project will run it will compile it and then it will test it okay so till automation we are using up to test but when this project is not automation and it is actually creating some application it will go through the other life cycle like install and deploy okay sometimes I have even seen that some companies do not allow to interact directly with this maven central repository so what they will do instead of creating maven central repository they create a company-wide central repository example like Google Yahoo they have created their own repository and instead of pointing to this maven central repository they tell in pom.xml that you have to download the jar file from that company-wide central repository okay and they either puts the jar file there or they give the reference of this MVN maven central repository there for some security reasons okay so it might possible instead of pointing to the central repository you have to point to your uh, your company-wide central repository and those settings come under a file called settings.xml in our project okay so in the next video I will tell you how to set up maven how to download this jar file and how to use this but please make sure this is very important topic uh, because any project in any company you know we don't uh, download the jar file manually we don't do all these work manually if you are running your test you have to run through build uh, through some build tool it can be maven it can be gradle it can be ant so a different build tool available so don't do, uh, like don't download a jar file manually always perform through this tool maven or gradle or ant whatever tool is there in your company okay and on the same page where i have shown you it is giving the maven faces the description of that the first phase is validated it validated the project is correct and necessary information is available it compiled the source code of the project so whatever your java files are whatever the test case you have written it will compile it okay and after that it will test it it will run your test after that so maven will do all those things for us it will either run your uh, test ng.xml file to run the test and if there is no test ng.xml it will directly try to run the test of your project okay and then it will do a packaging so whatever jar files are there it can be of your project or it can be other jar file like selenium test jar. it will package it so these are all the things which is done by the maven faces all right i hope by this chart it will be a bit clear how the maven work and you know how the pom is interacting with maven central repository in the next video i will tell you that how we can do it practically in eclipse Alright, so thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit on the like button and subscribe. Thank you.